Jerry has had some serious highs and lows throughout Rick and Morty, from losing his job and his family, to once again having a job only to lose it again, to where he's at now back within the family. So with that, let's take a look at the Jerryest Jerry moments of Rick and Morty seasons 1 through 5. Okay, with all due respect, Rick, what am I talking about? What respect is due? How is my son supposed to pass his classes if you keep dragging him off for a high-concept sci-fi rigmarole? Have you not been getting the messages? I've been leaving with Morty's grandfather. Boom! Told you! In your face! He is ruining our child! Wait, what am I celebrating? I'm a genius! I build robots for fun! Well, now you can build baskets and watch Paul Newman movies on VHS and mentally scar the Boy Scouts every Christmas. What does that mean? It's personal. Y you you really wear the pants around here. You're being very aggressive, Jerry. Perhaps tomorrow Dr. Scraps will solve that problem with a bit of surgery. Huh. You think you can control me with a haircut? See that? I'm peeing all over your special guns. That means I own them. Bad person. Bad. Jerry? I'm sorry. It's just like the end of Old Yeller. Oh, Jerry. You mean because it had dogs in it. Dad, I'm not giving you my phone. Put it in the stocking summer or I'm joining Facebook. <gasps> We are connecting this Christmas, like old school Jews on a Saturday. <laughs> no! Stop! I hate this! Well, Christmas doesn't revolve around what you hate, son. Well, then I hate Christmas! Enjoy being human! You guys are gross and lame. Simple question, gentlemen. What are apples? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> what are apples? Apples are food. And when do we need food? When we're hungry. With that, I give you your new slogan. Hey, I'm going to make love to my wife! Looking good. Oh, no. My man! Mm, 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 yeah, don't move. Mm, 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 mm. That's the best sex I've ever had in my life. It's... it's... Too good. I don't deserve this, Beth. I'm a fraud. Um, I guess I'll just pack up my desk. Yes. <laughs> Look, I want to say that today was the best day of my life. But the truth is, it's 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 more meaningful than that. Mommy. Yes. Thank you, sir. I am finally complete. <laughs> Hey Jerry, don't worry about it. So what if the most meaningful day of your life was a simulation operating at minimum capacity? <clears throat> so, what do you think? You're fired. Mr. Meeseeks, I would like to take two strokes off my golf game. Ooh, yeah! Remember to square your shoulders, Jerry! Yeah, yeah, I got it. Just try to relax! You try to relax! Have you ever tried to relax? It is a paradox! Ugh. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Where would you go? I don't know, man. Italy, Greece, Argentina... Countries known for their sexually aggressive men. <laughs> Innocent people are going to die because of me. Why am I so mediocre? I think we'll take our food to go. No, you won't. The police are coming. You have so many questions to answer. Fair enough. I'm Mr. Crowbar, and this is my friend, who is also a crowbar. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah? Well, look, we're being smart, gotcha. <laughs> I wish that shotgun was my penis. If it were, you could call me Ernest Hemingway. I don't get it, and I don't need to. Mm. Mm. Do not let that thing out of your sight. It looks harmless now, but it could grow into something dangerous. Like the insane clown posse. Yeah, good one, Jerry. 2003 just called. It wants its easy target back. Hey, uh, uh, 1995 called. They want their certain year called wanting its blank back formula back. Why, Jerry? Why expend the effort? Life is effort, and I'll stop when I die. Can you help me get him back? 
I suppose, Morty, I suppose. But first, a deep sip from a very tall glass of I told you so. Oh my god, please, Dad, come on! You speak the true truth. Oh my god, Dad's in Cloud Atlas! I'm in Cloud Atlas! What's Cloud Atlas? Sometimes small true true, different than the big true true. You're my best friend, Jerry Smith. I love doing cocaine with you. Whoa, I love doing cocaine with you too, Johnny Depp. Every family on this block has to wonder if they're together by choice. Our family just has interdimensional goggles to show us for a fact that we're not. Did you really talk me out of the abortion? Well, we, we blew a tire on the way to the clinic. Weekend at Dead Cat Lady's house, too. Well, somebody in Hollywood just lost their job. Written and directed by Jerry Smith. I wrote and directed that? What am I, nuts? You know, Rick's in his lab making cyborgs and wormholes and all that weird stuff. But this is real science. A man and his boy making planets. It's possible to disagree in science, Morty. Pluto was a planet. Some committee of fancy assholes disagree. I disagree back. Give me a ping pong ball. Um, okay. I, I just have to- Go find Rick and go over my head about Pluto? Je no, jeez, I just gotta go to the bathroom. Damn. Dad, what's your end game? Ain't no game, sucker. Well, son, what did you think when you were five and you pooped your pants and you threw your poopy undies out your bedroom window because you thought it was like throwing something in the garbage? <laughs> I mean, I'm trimming the hedges, and these things are just hanging there. Was I supposed to think the poop bunny left them? Good one, Dad. I have a rare antique coin collection. Just don't hurt me. Okay, maybe not antique, but it was a limited minting. They have little R2-D2s instead of George Washington. Our son's been abducted! You hate me for buying those coins! If I've learned one thing, it's that before you get anywhere in life, you gotta stop listening to yourself. Almost finished, Jerry? Uh... Almost. I haven't quite captured your beautiful eyes. I'm sure it's good enough. I can't help but feel a little guilty. I didn't peg Lucy for a rapist. What does a rapist look like exactly, Beth? Is it a Slavic man wearing a denim jacket with a patchy beard and the scent of cheap champagne wafting over his blister-pocked lips? What? Sweetie, is your shirt on backwards? <gasps> yeah, I like it this way. I'm not stupid. Phew. Holy sh What happened? I hit a deer! We, we have to tell the cops you were driving. What? This is rum raisin! Jerry, this was the most romantic weekend I've ever had. Thanks to Cold Stone Creamery. Where did you guys get those necklaces from? Uh, Lady Gaga, table for three, am I right? <laughs> Are you guys Power Rangers? But only on one small part of your necks? Hey, do those things need batteries? Were they included? <laughs> Clean up in the fruit aisle! Not in a homophobic way, though. They're just fruity necklaces, is what I was saying. Somebody doesn't feel so good, does Tron. it? No, it doesn't. It here. hurts. I don't know how this works. Help me! Hey, what the I, hell? I know, right? Oh, what the hell? I know, right? I Don't know. you feel a little patronized? How so? Jerry! Beth. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I love you, Jerry! Aw, Beth. Who wants to come watch Midnight Run Beth. with director's commentary on? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. First yeah. one yeah. there gets to adjust the picture settings. Oh, yes. The factory tent setting is always too high. The factory My tent setting is always too high. <laughs> duck, duck, birdie. <laughs> that is very funny. I can't believe Rick did this. This is the eighth to the last straw. What are you, what are you doing in here? I'm trying to find our weed whacker. Because our weeds are whack, yo. Your dad gets to walk all over us because of your abandonment issues. He's playing you, shorty. Oh, stop affecting that stupid hip-hop dialect. Stop shifting the crosshairs to my ironic urban patois just because your relationship with your father is toe-up from the flow-up. Now, are you going to keep hating this player or are you going to jack my steeds? Okay, you're just making stuff up now. Maybe we'll see Chewbacca. I'd like that. What are we doing? I don't give a damn what else happens out there. You and I are going to survive this. Okay. Hey, we agreed. Never in the house. Whoa, what the hell? 
Look out for that homeless guy! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! There isn't time! Just run! <laughs> Get out here and help me! They say you shouldn't do that! Just run! I'm a parasite. Yeah, but you're real. Uh, I need time to forget about Sleepy Gary. Me too. Please don't do this! Please don't do this! Summer! Summer, listen carefully. I stole a paper clip and I have it in my cheek, but I don't know what to do with it, and it hurts. You're going to be okay. You will come back oh as God. babies. Oh I am a baby! I'm a baby now! And why aren't you more ashamed of yourself? Dad? Be ashamed of yourself, sweetie. Jerry, do you know what you just said to our daughter? Sorry! I wasn't paying attention. To a conversation about vampires? Clearly, I didn't know it was about vampires because I wasn't paying attention, which you would know if you ever paid attention to me. <laughs> Read it and weep, bitch. Does everybody see what I mean? Beth, you'll want to see this. What is it? It's a small hinged panel with a tiny amount of space behind it. If you can find one too, we should be safe for hours, maybe days. Get back! <laughs> Wait, for real? <clears throat> You're how Beth sees me? <clears throat> oh my god, turn around. You are going to help me. <clears throat> No! Nobody's doing that! Beth, it's me, your husband. I'm here to save you. Or my name isn't Jerry Smith! Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Jerry Smith! Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, fair enough. Honey, when it comes to the subject of your ego, I'm Stephen f***ing Hawkinson. Then you would give your penis? So that Shrimply Pibbles might live? Stop asking! Yes, I will! That's right, assholes. Take my penis. Through a <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta, I gotta laugh at myself here. I'm having a little laugh at myself because I just realized I haven't run this whole decision past my wife. If you want to keep your penis, you should say out loud, I prefer to keep my penis. But Beth, what kind of man would say something like that if the universe needed his penis! Well, Jerry, what kind of wife would I be if I did anything to stand in your way? I'm a good person, and I demand that you cut off my penis and put it in that man's chest. That's not how it works! Well, you're gonna make it work. Remove my penis! If it's all the same to you, Rick, I'd like to go to the zoo with my family. What? Uh, what are you talking what? about? Ooh, is it Daddy Mason? Like the movie The Purge? Yes, I, I need you to take... That movie sucked. Oh my god, hold on! It's not Taddy Mason? Taddy? Yes, Jerry, it's Taddy, a person no one's ever heard of until now calling you on a space phone. Morty? Are you all right? No! Why are you with Taddy Mason? Holy s***, Dad, shut the f*** up! Jerry, what is Taddy Mason LLC, and why is our phone bill $700? Uh... Hey, are you bored? Uh... Lonely? Just looking for a friend? Uh... Call me, Taddy Mason. It's only $1.99 a minute to talk. The trick to cereal is keeping 70% of it above the milk. Jerry, get a job. What do you know about friendship, Jerry? Confirm shipping, Jerry. Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, God. Jerry, Dad! <laughs> 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 You're at a wedding. Go change. What is he, 40? It's just, you know, when he was 30, she was an actual child. When he was her age, she wasn't born. When he was, uh, let's see, like 18, she was literally in there, in your womb. Imagine being pregnant with your daughter and a bird teenager comes into your home and says, I'll take that, I'll have sex with that. <laughs> Give us one second. Oh. Were you born with your feet in your mouth? I was transported here against my will in a meatball, all right? So take your attitude to the men's section of Kmart, because you need to cut me some slack. In a lot of ways, what I really am is a deep cover agent for the Galactic Federation, and you guys are a group of wanted criminals, and this entire building is, in a certain sense, surrounded. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, sh I don't get the metaphor. I'll explain it to you later. I tell you, the Galactic Federation taking over Earth, best thing that's ever happened to this family. I just got my sixth promotion this week, and I still don't know what I do. Who cares how high they promote you? Everyone just gets paid in pills. Well, when you're not sure what you do for a living, you can make your own rules. And Grandpa Rick wouldn't put up with this. Stop saying his name. He abandoned us. Willem Dafoe. Th that's the guy I couldn't think of this morning. Jerry, what the hell is happening? The galactic government collapsed. Are you okay? Look, I I'm not proud to share this, but the truth is I just kept crawling and it kept working.
What? Hello? So, lots of hookers outside, huh? Is that what they are? Hello there. Nice doggy. You want a snack? You, you want my unemployment check? You can tell the difference? And you want this one? But this is actual food, and this would nourish you. And this, it's just paper that only has value to me. Unless my suffering is your nourishment. Jesus, okay. Come on. Jerry, Jerry, come on. We gotta go. You gotta come with me, Jerry. Rick? It's important, Jerry. <laughs> the fate of the galaxy rests on your shoulders. Let's go. Put some pants on. Never, never mind, there's no time for pants, Jerry. I'll make you a pair of pants on the way. It's a Rick and Jerry adventure. Rick and Jerry episode. Rick, I'm not an idiot. I know what this is. Oh. Okay, well, I told Morty, look, parents get divorced, they get sad, he'll be fine, but I think he's worried you're gonna, you know. Wait, my son asked you to take me on some kind of pity adventure to keep me from killing myself? Wait, w w what did you think it was? An execution. And you have wondered what your life could have been without Rick. Wondered? Sure. I mean, I've wondered about having a vagina. We'll be able to board a Galaxy-class cruise ship and jump through a wormhole that'll put us within spitting distance of the Milky Way. But hey, it's about the journey, not the destination, right, Jerry? Live out the rest of your days in denial of your vagina fantasies. It was a one-time thought that everyone has! What are you doing? I'm being triumphantly brave! It's not triumphant or brave. You're not risking anything. You might shoot me. I think you know I won't, because you know I feel sorry for you. You're just doing this so you can tell yourself you fought- Ow! Ow! You get to die a match. Well, that's okay, I'll leave. Please don't shoot. I, I'm the vagina guy, remember? They fell for it. Let's send Kobo home. All right. Where's dad? He should be here any second. Did it work? Did you guys get Gobo home? You have Gobo. You, you were supposed to bring him to the hill. As if. He was in your basket. He was in your car. Ugh. Oof. Dibs on his stuff. Check it out. Who wants a smoothie? Oh, oh no. Uh, oh god. Summer. Summer, can you grab? Ah! Sorry. I thought warrior priestesses could only leave Crutabulon on a hunt. Thank you, sweetie. Why don't you just say what you really mean? You think it's cool that having sex with her gives me telekinesis, and you recognize she's got a hot bod like Chitara in Thundercats, but you're grossed out by her avocado-shaped head and blue skin, and you think I want to put a bag and a wig on her head. After all the time and energy I spent teaching you two about race, you ended up racist. Dad, what's going on? We're going to Alaska. What? Why? It's nice there. Also, I broke up with Kiara and she didn't take it well and she wants to murder you two. What? Th th then why are we walking? I'm walking because I'm tired. What does your breakup have to do with us? Yeah, we chose mom hands down. I thought we made that clear at the lawyer's office and in the comments under your weird rant on Facebook. She's really pissed off. I know. It's kind of hot. Shut up. Stop her! Okay, okay. Kiara, let's just run away. Come Dad! Okay. Ow! Oh, damn it. Senior year, I took you on a date to the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra performing the music of Alan Silvestri in the park. I realized my palms were so sweaty I would never get to hold your hand, but I was desperate to touch you, so I wiped my palm on the grass next to me, but a Snickers wrapper kind of got stuck on it, so I started kind of jiggling it, whipping it without moving too much. You win, Jerry. You win! No amount of genius can stop your dumb, mediocre, vacuous roots from digging into everything and everyone around you and draining them of any ability to fend you off. Well, it couldn't have been easy for you to say that. I appreciate it. Oh, real nice, Rick. Turning our son into an Akita? Real nice. Eat my ass, Jerry. He turned himself into Akira. Oh, I'll eat it because this is my house, Rick. I'll eat any ass I want. Gross. I don't want to see any more anime stuff happening to my son, Buster. That finger has AIDS now, not my fault. You skipped HIV? He's messing with you, sweetie. But it's tingling. Well, I'm man enough to simply say I'm going to poop. And I'd be honored to have Ron Howard involved. Good job, Hi, Dad. For you. Hey, sweetie. Honey, our daughter ran off with a frisbee golfer because of some app with a really dumb, really forgettable name. Like a really dumb, uncreative, super sweaty name. Anyway, I'll be late. I love you. Got it. Adventures of Jerry and Morty. Okay. Here. We're not allowed to use those apps. I wonder why. That's what I thought, Bluey. Looks like you and I are all we got. Hmm, Floba fan. <laughs> Thanks, I could never lift it up. No problem. I'll be able to drink water for weeks because of you. It's just part of my job, ma'am.
Breaker 1-9, this is Jerry Smith. Just finished my first delivery of the day. 900 more to go. Jerry, don't! I want to see. No, you do not! No, 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 no! At least now, maybe Get the I'll... hell out of here! But oh. I've got nowhere to Get go! Out. Get out! He was in my home, where I keep photos of my parents! Did we crash? Where's the cat? He, uh, he ran away. Did you scan his brain? Yeah. Did you find out why he can talk? He's from outer space. Outer space? That little... <laughs> of course. Total mind f Whoa! <laughs> Just to be clear, this doesn't mean you helped me. It wears off in 10 hours, and the next hit will cost you 30 bucks. <laughs> like I'll even be using it in 10 hours. Siri set a 9 hour and 50 minute timer. Playing the Beatles. We, we got off on the wrong foot. My name's Jerry Smith. I live in the suburbs. I'm only here because I have a certain power I wanted to kind of celebrate before it goes away. Yo, we got a Nazi up here. Hey, I think there's a misunderstanding. Here, just, just watch. Huh? Oh, help! Help! I need that shoe! <laughs> Hey, babe. Jerry, are you in the air? Rick told me he made you floaty. Made me floaty? <laughs> I love Rick's worldview. Yes, I had Rick made me floaty so I could put up some lights. Now I'm at the light store. Get away! Sorry, this uh, lady at the store is trying to peck me. I am the Jesus Christ of Christmas! <sighs> One Diet Sprite remix, please. Hi, you went directly to voicemail because your number's not in my phone. Don't leave a message. Hi, honey. I was sent by a society of human snake hybrids Classic from an alternate Rick. version. Oh. Oh, I did it! We landed! I knew I could do it! <laughs> oh. Hey, honey. Check it out. Jerry, I was worried about you. I was just killing some snakes up here like everyone else, I guess, and finishing the Christmas lights. Wait, the whole time? I was screaming for help, and you stayed on the roof? I couldn't hear you over my own screaming. We've talked about this. I've been getting into beekeeping lately. Is something wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Don't I have the right to be happy? To exist? I'm sorry I didn't 9-11 Pearl Harbor before breakfast, but I have a life too. I have dreams. And how summer? Did she have fun too? Video game. Yes, yes. Drugs and video games. Poor babies. What you need is to level up with a bong rip of nature. Fine. If you won't do something, I will. Well, there goes the surprise. I was gonna have us jump on the trampoline after we caught our first fish. What? You're stupid. Dad, can we please go back and hang out with Grandpa's clay people? Why? Because they might have a Sega Dreamcast? Guess you don't want to learn how to skip rocks, either. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! 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 There you go, guys. Pump those cheeks. That's the camping spirit. This is not a tent. It is a new kind of tent with special gutters to funnel the rain and a door. It's a house. No houses. Oh, my God. Is that you? What the hell are you doing? Camping. The great roughing of it is at hand. You will now join the one family on its eternal getaway. Or join the embers over which we hold marshmallows at just the right distance. Six inches until it gets golden brown jaboom boom sorry sorry just trying to get the hang of this thing. maybe he drinks because it isn't easy to be more powerful than god well if it's god power that gets you going light some candles and put on the billy ocean because moses is home and he's ready to burn some bush should should we make love Jerry, I love you, but I can literally smell your balls from here. Oh, wow. Ask God for a flood next time it'll come with a shower. See? You put the fire stick to the wood, and voila, campfire. You have known about this the whole time? Dr. Wong had a cancellation today. Anybody up for a family session? I'm, I could I'm do that. Clown. not sure my therapy puppet will be done in time. Great, because she specifically asked you to stop bringing puppets. Oh. Share the invisibility. Jerry? Oh, this looks like a job for Mr. Nibbles. Let me just glue one more eye on. I'm gonna kill you! Jerry, do you agree that the use of puppets Puppets makes you seem dumb and crazy. I don't...
don't think crazy is a responsible word to use It is in... now. This is crazy. You're being crazy. They do it in therapy on TV. What TV gives British people prizes for baking, Jerry? <laughs> hey! I only said hey. It's not like I can do more than that. My defense is eat me. Hey! Ah, we've been over this. All I do is say hey! We can shoot him. What? Just go with it, Jerry. Everybody, drop your guns! Except for Jerry! F***ing classic! Bird person, stop! It's me, that Tammy girl! Tammy, this is unexpected. I was told you were dead. That is absolutely not true. I'm more alive than I've ever been. Oh. You are behaving rather strangely. Me? Strange? Oh my! Well, who's normal, really? Now come here, you big hollow bone featherhead. Let me give you some of this sweet ass. Save the day with puppeting. Only one with a decent arc. He does have his moments. Invisible garbage truck, Jerry. It's a new franchise. What the? What, what the? What the what, Somebody call for a pickup? Let's go take out the trash. We've been watching pornography together. Gross. I might never come back from the ocean. Oh, you'll have to tone it down, babe. The squares can't handle it. I've seen you f a planet, and this is the guy you're afraid of? I like this one, Rick. He is unbroken, untamed. Stand aside, unless you are worthy of Nimbus. <sighs> if that means what I think it means, I'll have you know we watch porn together. Oh! Ooh, so that just happened. You don't sound upset about it. Neither do you. Oh my god, is this happening? Participant voids all liability in the event of death by orgasm? Are we really ready to open things this wide? What if it gets weird? What if I fall in love with him? Wow, that was intense. You look stressed. We signed the paperwork. I must go. Well, your people have your our number. Your starfish mentioned some kind of basket? Why does he always want to be hunted? Jerry. It's not important right now, Dad. Rick can make secret decoys of the family and place them all around the country, but f me if I have questions about the starfish man and a target. Hi, Rick. Family. Me. Hey, when did you all leave? Analysis mode 80085. Hmm? N nothing, buddy. You, you gotta stop with all that coffee. It's making you loopy. Um, oh my god, thank you, Grandpa Rick. I'm gonna go pack my rollie. Um, Summer, I, I, I haven't given you my approval yet. Summer approval is yet to be given here! What a romantic story about our son killing a room full of people. Your turn. Space sperm? Sperm from space. Very impressive verbal forensic work, Jerry. Holy shit. How big are space dicks? Don't answer that. Do something! Uh, is this water for everyone? Yes, and I'd love a glass. Coming up! What are you doing? Ah, Jerry. Exquisite finery this evening. Well, don't tell Ross, but I got this little ditty from Cole. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the third time he shit his pants from eating too much soup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be fair, it was cold outside and the soup was warm. Uh -huh. Jerry, have any other dreams this week? Yeah, I dreamt I f***ed your mother. <laughs> oh. oh, good one. No! Well, well, well. Table for surprised party of me. Uh, yes. Just be yourself. That's your solution. Humiliating me more? Yeah, Dad, that doesn't seem fair. I mean, I know I shouldn't really talk right now. Well, happy Thanksgiving to me. Can't wait to see what a shimmer does to my prostate. Dad, can you please just end whatever this is? Damn, is that a David Blaine box? I told you we should have just gone to my parents' house. No, you didn't. Well, I didn't say it out loud, but it should be well known by now that I'd always rather be there. Michael this Charlie Kaufman reboot of Wizard of Oz is destroying itself. <laughs> Morning. We're not attractive strangers next to you on a flight to Paris, traveling alone to get over a breakup, so this is no time to be coy. Why are we doing this anymore? Because it's fun, you little rat. Now go home and play video games while we clean up these bodies, or your mother and I will hire people to break your knees. Hey, Summer, um, my cockpit's not getting Wi-Fi. Dad, you know that's not what I do around here. Oh, I'm not your dad. I'm a version of him. Uh, this is my first day here, and I, I'm not sure what you do around here. You here to break my legs? No, we're here to talk shit about your sister because she just fired us. You're you're kidding. Arrogant little bitch. Should we clip her? No. There's a little adjustment period, but pretty soon you're going to return to normal. And you're not going to want to kill Summer. You're not even going to be mad at her. Should we kill ourselves so we can get to hell before her and hide near the entrance? Oh, I like that. 
I mean, look at me. I'm easy to make happy, which is why nobody gives a shit if I am. I'm back, pal. Morty, who's at the door? Wait a minute, I thought you died gruesomely. What, what the hell's going on here? See, uh, the, the thing is, uh... Can you please make Morty 14 again, Dad? You're worthy of his respect, and you want to be treated differently from now on. I refuse to do that. I I'm desperate to get back together. Just like his old man. Don't worry, honey. That's just Morty's middle age talking. Those were just some of our favorite Jerry moments throughout the years, but what were yours? Let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.